Hello and welcome back to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to display the posted on information of the post. So if you remember from the previous video that we used a function and then we used this function to go ahead and display the posted on, which is this right here instead of the span tag. Uh, this is posted one span tag. Instead of, inside of this, we used posted on and posted on and then we replace this percentage s with this uh, anchor tag which is coming here and this is going to get us the permalink which is this and inside of this we are actually using our time string which is going to get the uh, post published date as well as the modified date and time okay which is this right here and then we hide one of these okay so just a recap of the previous video what we did and uh, in this video we're going to display who this post was posted by who is the author of the post before we did that I think one of the uh, viewers has suggested to ensure that we have the option of adding hover when you actually hover on the menu item the sub menu should open currently we are, since we are using bootstrap it does not have that o option by default you have to click on it in order to open this so let's just go ahead and add CSS for that inside of style.css I'm just going to add a piece of code. It just says nav item on hover, which means when this is hovered. And as long as the drop down menu class does not have drop down menu class does not have a show class which gets added when you click it, then go ahead and make sure that the drop dot menu is display block. Okay, so let's do that. Let's refresh. And now you can see it works on hover, it works on click as well. Unclick and click back again and then it works okay great let's continue so we'll continue with the author information what we're gonna do is go to our entry meta where we were and we created a function called Aquila posted on to get the date information and now we're going to get the information for the author so for that what we will do is we'll create another function inside of our template tag file and we'll so the function and we'll name it as Aquila posted by okay and then inside of this so who is this posted by so we'll create a variable called byline and again we'll use printf so that it does not print but stores the value using printf and again we'll use the ex escape HTML X. I've already explained this uh, escape HTML X in my previous video that it actually translates uh, escapes as well as uses context. So we use by and then percentage s and then context is post author. And then Aquila, which is our theme domain. And then what string do you want to use so it'll be span plus say author v card and then inside of let's close this and inside of this we can have an anchor tag with an href and inside of href we can say First, we'll do use concatenation operator. Let's make it a little small. We'll do escape URL. Get author post URL. So there's a function available in the WordPress which is called get author post URL. And if you search this function, you will notice that it retrieves the URL of the author page for the user with the ID provided. So it needs an ID, uh, author ID basically, and uh, it will give you the URL of the author's page. Okay, so we want the ID. So to get the ID, there's another function called get the author meta. And what 
information do you need from Meta? I want the ID. So this is going to get me the author ID. So I'm passing the author ID over here to this function and then finally escaping it. And this is going to get me the author URL. And then I also need the author name. So how do I get the author name? So for that, we have a function called get the author. So first we need to escape it. So again, I will use the concatenation operator from PHP. And then we'll use escape HTML. And then inside of this, we can do get the author. Okay, this is going to get me the author name. And that's it. Okay, great. And now finally, down at the bottom, we just need to echo it out. So what I'll do is over here, I'll just say echo span tag opening and closing. And inside of this, I will have a class and which will be byline and text secondary, which is a bootstrap class. And inside of this, I will again use inside of this I'll again use the concatenation operator by PHP and then use byline that we just the variable that we just created on top okay it's just going to echo that and all I have to do is just call this function inside of my entry meta which is being called inside of WordPress the loop the loop okay let's check go back refresh Awesome, congratulations. So you have got the by root available over here, right? Uh, of course, we need some space over here before by. So I'm just going to go back and check where is this by coming from and just add an extra space. And that should do. Great, awesome. So now you can see that this was by root, this was by Imran H. Sayya, that So whoever is the author, we're getting that information. And that's wonderful. Great, and if you notice, currently it's only displaying 10 posts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you want to change how many posts you want to display by default in WordPress, you can go on to the dashboard, go on to settings, and and then you can go on to your yeah, reading. You can go on to reading and then change it. So if you want to, let's say you want to display only 5 posts. So update this to 5 posts and save it. And this is also an, uh, another place where you can change what your home page will uh, is going to use and what will be your blog page. You can do this from here or you can also do it from the customizer. So let's come back, refresh. And now you see, you only see that five posts. You only see five posts over here, right? Great, so let's uh, change that back to 10 and save it. And of course, we will do pagination after some time but for now this looks good and now in the next video we are going to do the content uh, basically we're going to use excerpt instead of content because content will be shown on the single blog post page okay so i will see you in the next video i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and i'm going to see you in the next video take care bye, -bye. <music>